Hey everyone, this is Daniel, the Microsoft uh, MVP, and in this video I'm going to walk you through how you can go ahead and pre-populate Power Apps controls using URL. So basically in a nutshell, in this video I'm going to show you a Power App, um, and I'll show you how the different controls, controls such as single line of text, drop downs, combo boxes, how I can go ahead and pre-populate them using just the URL on the top. Uh, this actually comes in handy because in an instance, you can actually use the same app for different scenarios as long as the app and all the controls are the same. So what I'm going to do first is instead of just walking you through how to building it, I'm actually going to demo one that I already have built. Take a look at it, um, see if this is what you want, and if it is, then go ahead and click on the URL which I have in the description because that basically takes you to the video which has the whole thing over there. So if that sounds interesting, let's dive into the app and the demo. Okay, let me now exit from this demo here, and here's where we have the app. Now, in the app, um, I've built a very simple app without any, you know, too many bells and whistles. Basically, this is an app an employee can use for relocation. Um, and the neat thing about this app is that the same app can be used for relocation from different departments. That's why I'm going to show you how you can pre-populate certain things. And so this is just an example of one of those scenarios where, you know, you just want to have one app. Um, but you want to use it for different scenarios and all you have to do is read uh, pre-populate some of these entries. Um, I know that might not be the best example, nonetheless it'll, it's still a good enough example for me to explain the situation, uh, but you can take ideas from this and you know, build your own app with the uh, pre-populated controls from the URL. All right, so what I have over here, and in fact let me just go to the app itself. All right, so I've got the app over here, I've got the, um, the URL on the top, now one of the things you may have seen in one of my hidden gems video is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hide the navigation bar. So right here on the top I'm going to go ahead and put in an and and I'm going to say hide nav bar equals true. And when I do that one of the things you're going to notice is the top ribbon. This ribbon over here is automatically going to disappear. So let me just give a minute for this thing to refresh and now you saw that the top ribbon disappears. But let's not just stop there. What I want to do is now start populating these uh, single line of text. It's the department and the division. Um, because when the relocation department is sending this um, link to the internal employee, um, they want to already have these fields pre-populated. So one of the things I'm going to do now is start putting in some very important URL uh, I mean post fixes over here. So two things I'm going to do is I'm going to put in these things over here. And just to make sure that I don't spend too much time or make mistakes, I'm actually doing a lot of copying and pasting. But I've pasted it. Let's go and take a look. So after the hide bar, um, hide nav bar equals true, I need to put in an and over here or an ampersand. And the next thing is department equals human resources. And actually, what I can do is I can go ahead and just type in human resources here and division equals northeast. And if I do that, the app refreshes, and two things have happened. One of them is the department and the division automatically pre-populated, but if you notice, the URL kind of fixed itself too. Um, it went ahead and put in the percent 20 over here. It also went and put in the percent 20. Uh, so you kind of take care of you know fixing itself. Um, sometimes without the percent 20, you can even add the plus sign over there. So let me go ahead and now Put in basically everything else because I, you know, by default, um, the family members is number one, the work status, and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and now post in, I mean, p uh, copy and paste a whole bunch of things, and then you will see how this is working. So who did that? Family members, northeast. So okay, here I am going to put in and and watch a big URL, I mean post fix URL I'm doing, so I'm going to go post it. Let's just make sure, not location, relocation status, Florida. I'm going to hit it, enter, refreshing, and see what I've done. Now, I've gone ahead and pre-populated number of family members, because on the top over here, 
Uh, if I go to the right, the number of family members that I've got it as five. Work status, I've got it as true. Now, true is because if you remember, these radio controls, they actually work based on or the toggle one over there. Um, it works on the true and false. Um, so keep that in mind. It's not because even though I have full time over here, I've put in true over here. Now, this over here is a drop down. Uh, it's a simple drop down one. So I did two of those. And then single drop down, I was able to get North Carolina. Relocation drop down, I was able to get the, um, uh, the um, Florida over here. Uh, number of beds, um, that is a choice type uh, radio buttons column. And even that works successfully. Um, now, the additional rooms over here, that's a combo box. Uh, combo box has the option to go ahead and put in the search over there. There was a little tricky over here, but I was able to go and get that working. So now, if you see over here for the combo box, uh, which over here was the additional rooms, um, I was able to go ahead and get that working. I even got the um, um, the departure and the arrival working. Um, and then the multiple line of text was basically just a simple line of text, so I left that over there. So this is basically the app that I'm gonna show you. Once again, if this has caught your interest, go ahead and click on the link below. Um, and then we'll, um, over there, I'll actually walk you through how to build it. So hope to see you there.